Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby and I am a specialist in the United States Army and today we're talking about a couple buns. So, let's go to my bathroom. To my bathroom sink. Today we're gonna go over two buns. One super easy one that I would recommend wearing in basic training and then a second one that I really enjoy doing when I have a little bit more time. So before we get started, let me just say this is third day hair and Honestly, your buns are gonna look way better if you are not washing your hair every single day. Don't let people pressure you in basic training to wash your hair every single night because it's really not necessary. Um, I probably washed my hair every other night or every three days. And I started not washing my hair every single day in like 2018. And around that same time I had cut my hair to like up here. And now it's quite long. So it's grown about a foot in just under two years. It's gonna depend on your company in basic training, if you're allowed to have aerosols and stuff like that. Um, but if you could have your family send you some dry shampoo, that would probably be a good investment. And it can also just help you get a little bit um, more texture in your hair so that it's not as slippery and silky when you go to put it back into a bun. So for this first bun we're gonna go over, like I said, it's the quick one that I would recommend doing in basic training. And for this, you're gonna need four hair ties and you're gonna need a brush. If you haven't watched my packing list video, I posted that one right before this one and I go over all of the supplies that you need to take to basic training, including hair supplies. So I'm not gonna do that in this video. Take your four hair ties, you're gonna put three on one wrist and then put one on the other. Just trust me on this one. You could go ahead and put a part in your hair. I know that in the Marines, they have to earn their part, so they're only allowed to slick their hair straight back. In the Army, it's not like that. You can have a part down the middle or on the side. Um, but for me, I like how my hair looks when it's straight back and it's faster. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. All throughout basic training, I did my hair at my locker with the mirror that was in my locker. A lot of other girls would go to the bathroom and wet their hair and put gel in it then. But for me, I found it really easy to just do it at my locker. I didn't have to worry about fighting for a sink in my bay. We were completely full. We had 65 females and only 14 sinks. So you either had to get up early to go get a sink or try and scoot in and it just wasn't fun. So all throughout basic training, I would just do mine at my locker and it worked. I always looked good and it was very fast and easy. So what I would suggest doing, I'm not gonna do it today because I'm gonna show you two different buns, is I would take your favorite gel, which you can take a little travel size with you and then have your family send you more if you need some. Go ahead and apply a little bit to the wispies that you get around your ear and especially at the nape of your neck because I'll get a lot of fallout pieces back here. But for today, I'm not gonna do that. So right now, I'm just gonna put my hair in a little pony. I would recommend putting the gel in before you do this because then you can go ahead and brush through the gel. I have heard drill sergeants, female drill sergeants, get on some trainees for having like weird patches of gel in their hair. So I would not recommend trying to just smooth it over afterwards. It'll, it'll look much better if you comb through it. So once you get to this point, if you have super long hair like I do, I do have some split ends throughout and so those will kind of look frizzy. So this is where I would take a little bit of gel and kind of just smooth it down throughout the hair. And then you can start to wrap it into the bun. So all I'm gonna do is take the length of my hair and start twisting it. And then I'm gonna use my other hand to start forming it into a bun, keeping it really flat to my skull. And you can kind of trade off hands and I'm going slow so you can kind of see, but when I would do this in the mornings, I could do it really quickly. So it's hard to see because you have to keep your hand holding it down flat. And I'm just trading off as I go around and then I'm just gonna take that part that's sticking out, tuck it underneath. Then I'm gonna grab one of my hair ties and put it 
underneath the entire bun against my scalp. Just like that. So that's what we have right now, a nice little curly Q bun. And honestly, this is pretty secure. So if you're just needing a bun on the day today, this could be enough. It looks pretty tight and it's neat in the back. But for basic training, when you're jumping around and climbing nets and doing all of that stuff, I want it to be really secure. So that's why I still have two more hair bands. So I'll take my right hand, grab it. I'm gonna pull this one over. So that's under the entire bun. And then when I go to flip it, I'm gonna put it in between this first, so you can see that there are two layers of twists. So whenever I pull it over, I'm gonna put it in between the two layers. So that goes in between on that side. And then we still have our other one, so I'm gonna grab it with my other hand, grab that one. So the first time it goes under the whole way, and then the second time it's gonna go in between those two layers, you can see, like that. Now it's kind of tethered down from both sides and it is absolutely not going anywhere. That's like a super easy trick and it's really fast, so I'm gonna actually do it now without talking through it and just show you how quick it is. But as you can see, my hair is completely back and if you had a little gel just to smooth these and then get any hairs from the bottom, you look really neat and professional and ready to train. super stable, and yeah, always keep a ton of hair ties because they'll break. That's what I recommend doing in basic training because it's very fast. You don't have to worry about messing with a sock or a bun form or anything like this. And now I'm gonna show you my very favorite bun to do. This one I wore for church at basic training. I also wore it on family day and graduation. And now on the day today when I have a little bit more time to do my hair and I'm not gonna be like doing crazy stuff all day long, I do this one because it's okay that it's a little bit less secure and a little bit more pretty. For this one, you're going to need just three hair ties this time. I already have one in, two here, and then I have um, about five bobby pins. And you're also gonna need a tiny little gum band. You've already gelled your little wispies and brushed them through on your neck as well, and you have a nice pony. And now all we're gonna do here in this one, I would definitely recommend putting a little bit of gel throughout your hair. And actually, I'm gonna do that just to smooth it down a little bit. So all I'm gonna do is just run it down the length of my hair. So just go ahead and braid this down and you'll want them to be pretty close together in the different sections that you do. So instead of having like looser, longer braids, you want it to be pretty tight and chunky. that you just did with the previous. So take one hand and kind of hold the braid towards your skull and then just start wrapping around like you did with the twisted hair. So once I get around once, I like to take the braid and flip it so that it can go under the hair that's already wrapped. And it just makes it a little bit more flat. And then just go ahead and take the little tail and tuck it up underneath. 
then just go ahead and secure the whole thing next to the scalp. And you can do it on the other side as well. Just like that. And that looks pretty good to begin with. You can see there. What I'd like to do now is just take probably like four bobby pins and I'll go in and secure it on all the different sides. These long ones are really great because you can go ahead and push the whole way up until you reach like the core of your ponytail. Especially if I were um, attending a ceremony or anything like for my AIT graduation, there's a lot of just little frizzies sticking out of here. And so you could just take some gel and smooth down the different braids, but it's super secure. I could definitely wear this to work out in. And I think it just looks a little bit more pretty and put together than the twists. There we go. You can see there. Very pretty, put together, professional. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I know that wasn't a super in-depth tutorial, but it kind of just shows you what I think is probably the best route to go when it comes to your hair in basic training, but it's obviously up to you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and let me know what kind of videos you want to see down below, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.